Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you an easy way to use Pear Deck to record audio into your Google Slides. So in a previous video, I showed you a way that you can insert audio into your Google Slides. But since that video came out, so many people have asked me if I can explain how to use Pear Deck with Google Slides to insert the audio because they had either heard it from other teachers or they saw things online about it. So I thought it was best to just make a whole nother video showing you how easy it is to use Pear Deck to insert audio into your Google Slides. So the first thing we'll do is we're gonna open up Google Slides. So for this video, I'm gonna use my presentation that uh, teaches students how to become expert researchers. And then if you've never used Pear Deck before, we're gonna go to add-ons and then get add-ons. And then I already have Pear Deck installed. I'm gonna uninstall it just so I can walk you through the steps. Uh, you'll probably see Pear Deck right at the top, but if it doesn't, you can go up to where it says search apps and type in Pear Deck and you'll see it will pop up there. So we'll go through and we'll click on install and continue and then select the account you want to use and then go down and select allow and then done. And now let's close this and we'll go back up to add-ons and the first time you do it, I think Pear Deck will open up here, but if it doesn't, you just go back up to add-ons and then select Pear Deck and open Pear Deck. And then you'll have access to all of the different Pear Deck options. Now, there are so many things you can do with Pear Deck. If you're not sure what it can do and you'd like me to make another video, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to make a video walking you through the steps of how to use Pear Deck. But for this video, we're just going to focus on how to add audio. So let's go find a slide. Um, and then let's say we want to add audio to slide. And now we have two choices. We can record our own audio or we can upload an audio file that we already have. So if we had say music or sound bites we wanted to put in, you can insert that. I'll show you both ways. So let's start with saying that um, I want to give some instruction or give directions or talk about whatever is on my slides. I can just click on record and it will instantly start recording and you'll see the timer going. Uh, and then you can just give your instruction. You can pause at any time. And if you want to delete, you can delete it and start over again. Or if it's good, you can select save. And you can listen to it to hear how it sounds. And it will instantly start recording and you'll see the timer going. Uh, and then you can just give your... All right. So let's pretend that that's perfect. We'll select add audio to slide. And then you'll notice up in the top right hand corner, it will uh, have a new little icon. You can make this bigger or smaller. You can move this around to a spot um, wherever you want. The only thing you can't do is delete it. If you delete this, then your audio will be deleted as well. So let's go to the next slide and let's add audio. And this time we're gonna add an audio file. So we'll select upload and then you can find any file on your computer. So I'll just pick this one. We'll see what that sounds like. So we've just got like just a regular uh, audio file here and we'll select that. We'll click add audio to slide. Now it's really important to know that you cannot just share this file with your students. If you were to just share the Google slides, they will not have access to the audio. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I've just opened up an incognito window and you'll see that now when I click on this presentation, it will tell me that there's an audio recording, but I can't hear that recording. And if I click on that audio include, it just takes me to Pear Deck. So I can't hear that sound. So what we need to do, we need to go into where it says start lesson under Pear Deck. Click on the big green box that says start lesson. And then you have two choices. You can select either student paced activity or instructor paced activity. So if you were doing this live with your students, whether it's in person or over Zoom or Meet, you would want to select instructor paced. But if you were recording your audio because you want your students to be able to watch this on their time, you'd want to select student paced so they can go through this at their own pace. So we'll select student paced. And then we'll go to the teacher dashboard. 
And then you have three options of how you're going to get this presentation to the students. You can copy this link and either email it to them, post it in Google Classroom. You can put it in a Google Doc or Google Slides or however you're communicating with your student. You can copy that link and send it to them. You can share it directly to Google Classroom. Or you can tell your students to go to joinpd.com and then you'll have a code underneath that they'll have to put in. So we'll copy the link and let's go into another incognito window and I'll show you what this looks like. So the first thing we'll do is ask your students how they're feeling today. We'll select that we're feeling great. And now you'll remember my first two slides, I didn't have any audio. So I've just got regular slides here. And this is the slide that I record myself speaking on. And you'll see in the top right-hand corner, it says audio included. So if your students go down to the bottom right-hand corner and click on these headphones and then click on the play button, they should hear the audio that you recorded. And it will instantly start recording and you'll see the timer going. Uh, and then you can just keep... And then let's click on the next slide. This is the slide that I uploaded the audio to. And you'll see it says audio included in the bottom left where I moved it. Uh, but there's also the headphones at the bottom right-hand corner. They can click on the play button. And there's the music that I recorded. And it's also really important to know that students can also use this. So if students have Pear Deck installed, they can add their own audio to the slides, which is a really great way for them to be able to do presentations and then share them with you as a teacher. So this is a really quick overview of how to use Pear Deck to insert audio into your Google Slides. As I mentioned earlier, if there's interest, I'd be more than happy to go through and show you all the features that Pear Deck has to offer. And if you have any questions or having trouble adding the audio into your slides, please feel free to reach out to me. I do the best I can to respond to as many questions as possible. You can reach out to me by leaving a comment in the comment section below. You can follow me on Twitter at Dan Spada. Or you can reach me on Facebook at facebook.com slash the ed tech show. I've also included the links to several other tutorial videos in the description below. So please feel free to go through those and share them with teachers that you think might find them helpful. And to stay up to date with all my videos, please click on that subscribe button and select that little notification bell so that you get notified every time a new video is uploaded. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.